one, Super Dimensional Etna. Protocols so deep that they kill heads. We've got to move on this quick. Facial recognition turns up a 93% chance that the killer is one Sean Holland, a 6% chance he's a fish gutter from Norway, and 1% that he's a bunch of hedgehogs in a pink jacket. Let's assume it's the first one. Sean Holland lives at this address. Rice, I think. Or wait, what if we used wheat and. <gasps> no, potatoes! I, I can't decide! Are you seriously thinking about food again? No, I'm planning battle tactics. Tactics, huh? Oh, no! Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't good conscience let you continue in your foolhardy quest. You shall not pass! Hey, best friend! Damn it! Fine. If you really want to get to the sorcerer's castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die, you won't be able to say I didn't warn you, because you'll be dead. Master Etna, we buried the prince for you, dude! Would he normally die from that? The Overlord's son should be able to deflect a couple hundred rounds, no problem. Master Etna, you don't look very happy, dude! What are you talking about? I'm glad that Brett's finally dead. In fact, I've never been happier. I bet, dude! He'd boss us around, but he couldn't even figure out how to send the VCR! The bed is stiff and my food is bland! His complaining sure was annoying, dude! It's his own fault for being betrayed by Master Etna, dude! Yep, it's his fault for dying so easily. But this isn't good. What's the problem, dude? Mission accomplished, right? But that is the problem. Think about it. With the prince gone, he's got no use for me. I just know he's gonna betray me. You're too cynical, dude. I think you're gonna get a huge reward. Don't be stupid. That'll never happen. Why not? You did your job, dude. Because if I was him, I'd betray him as me. You demons are evil, dude. But the prince is dead, dude. Won't he find out eventually? I suppose. Oh, I know! <laughs> you there, you cute little brainy. Come over here, yeah! I have a bad feeling about this, dude! I said get over here! Coming, dude! So what's the plan, dude? Well, only... this! Master Etna, what are you doing? Don't tell me that! There! Perfect! From now on, you're Prince Laharl! Dude! You just stuck an antenna on me, dude! Don't worry about it! You look just like the prince! No one will know! Where do you get all of that confidence, dude? Oh, hey! Look over there! Ah! Ah! See? You fooled that monster! You really should trust me more. Oh, yeah. All these guys want to be the Overlord, so you might want to watch your back. Are you serious? Master Etna, please help me, dude! What are you talking about, Prince? Wouldn't you rather wipe out these losers with your magnificent powers? You guys are my friends, right, dude? We believe in you, Prince, dude! Dude! So, what exactly did he want? Well, for it to walk! Sure, okay. Shoot lasers of unspeakable power! Ooh, tricky, but doable, yeah? And be over a hundred stories tall! 
Uh, sorry about that. My processor just broke. <laughs> uh, Tina, all these dwarves look exactly like Salvador. That seems kind of... Uh... Yeah, I know, Freelily. You think it's racist or something? And I'll sell downstairs if he thinks it's racist. Hey, Salvador! Is it okay if all the dwarves in my campaign look like you? That is awesome! Oh, yeah! Not racist. Ah, well played, good son. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. <laughs> ah. I'm really tired today for some reason. Anyway, I should get to work on dinner. Oh, we already started. We've got it covered tonight, Kisara. Just relax and leave it to us. I see. Well, I'll leave it to you then. We don't have a lot of ingredients though, so don't go overboard, okay? Guess I'll do some laundry instead. Well, I wasn't expecting that, but at least everybody knows the prince is still alive. <laughs> but won't that make more demons try to kill us, dude? Don't worry. Our mighty Prince Laharl here will crush those fools. But what about demon lords? We can't beat them, dude! Ooh! They'll make perfect examples to show off the prince's power. In fact, I don't even want to wait for those demons to show up. That could be me next! I hope Prince Laharl is up to it, dude! Well, let's just go back to the castle and celebrate the prince's return. All right, dude! Ah, oh, my back! I can't believe no one's noticed what's going on, dude! Everybody always hated the prince, so maybe they just don't care! Are you joking? You don't know how much I spent to keep their traps shut. I didn't even notice you were bribing everybody, dude! Oh, and by the way, I paid everybody with your paycheck. You're evil, dude! Reporting in, Master Edna! A new demon named Fires is rapidly gaining popularity, dude! Many demons are joining forces with him, dude! He's probably just a nobody. He's after the throne! We gotta deal with him eventually, dude! Ugh. This overlord business is such a pain in the ass. Hmm? What are you two doing? What does it look like? We're doing laundry. Obviously. Yeah, I guess you are. You're not trying to clean them by smacking them around again, are you? Of course not. I have a good memory. Once someone yells at me, I don't forget it. He's fine, Kisara. I've been keeping an eye on him, and there haven't been any problems. Oh, good. If you say so, Alfin, then I have nothing to worry about. Hey! How come you don't trust me when I say it? Just don't squeeze too hard or else you'll damage the fabric. Okay? Yeah, I get it. You know, if you keep making that face, it's gonna stick that way. What was that? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Well, if there's nothing for me to do, I guess I'll head back. I suppose I should take this as a sign of how much they've all grown, but... Locked. Bagley, any ideas? It's a powered lock, and the power's on the same grid as a neighboring building, so if you go there... We could overcharge it, right? It's a magnetic lock. Well, excuse me if I go fuck myself, then. I'll be catching up on quiz shows if you need me. Oh, Dohalim. What are you doing here? Simply admiring our campfire as I await dinner. I find watching the flames dance can be rather inspiring. <laughs> Just the same as always, then. Although I'm sort of relieved. Oh? And here I thought you were planning to scold me. Why? Did you want to be scolded, too? No, I wasn't saying that. Hmm. The night is aglow with star and firelight. Yet what I hold most dear are the words of a friend. That's not like your usual poetry. Are you trying to tell me something? Brimming is thy soul with words yet unspoken. <laughs> okay, I get it. You want me to talk to you about it. To hear your words of worry, I can but sit and wait. <laughs> I said I get it. Well, Prince, it's time to stretch your stuff. What are you waiting for? Let's go already! 
Good God, dude! By the way, friend, you've really been there for me through thick and thin. And so, I've made up my mind. I bequeath that chest to you. An extra special thanks for an extra special customer. I guess I'm just struggling with how capable everyone's become these days. I'm proud of them, but I'm not sure what I contribute to the team anymore. So, I guess it's been troubling me a bit. Hmm. They don't need me for chores or fighting anymore. And I don't have much in the way of feminine charm. But aside from being a soldier, do I have anything else to offer? And if not, then what good am I? I can't help worrying about it. Hmm. Lost though you may be, with Utopia but a dream, life without you would be no life at all. <sighs> Dohalim, you're right. I still have Migal's dream left to fulfill. And we still have the fight ahead of us to overcome. With you by my side, even the bitter times can taste sweet. Okay, I think that's enough poetry for one day. Hey, dinner's ready! Wow, you look really happy, Kisara. Uh, oh? I'm just excited to see what you two have cooked up. Now let's sit down and enjoy it already. Oh, El Tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicking the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Then we'll do that again. What's wrong? I've made up my mind. The treasure chest is yours, in word and deed. Sure, it may be worth its weight in gold, but a patch's promise. Well, that's priceless. For a new demon, he sure is living in a nice place. Prick. Dohaling. All of your replies last night were poems. What was that all about? Hmm. I suppose I was struck with poetic inspiration. Did it strike your fancy? Yes. I found it to be quite elegant. I'm afraid my memory of them is a bit faint. Could I trouble you to recite them for me? No, you cannot. Remember them yourself. Ah, <laughs> 社会見学の一環だ。多めに見てくれ。申し訳ございませんが、他のお客様のご迷惑になりますので。絶対に迷惑はかけない。いいよな。かしこまりました。バッドダウンザハッチスフォークス。ザロングプリセイドストームオブザ
never ignore a gentleman. What is it now? Kinda busy here? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering Moi's treasure. But I give you credit for your bravery. <laughs> My name is Byers. I am the lord of this castle. Schematics uploaded. What do we got? Uh huh. I see. Are you winging this? <laughs> Come on. You ran the forge with auxiliary power only? The main power button was right there! Ah, just running a stress test. Let me see. Yes, everything is breaking correctly. Let's get out of here before... My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief. Am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. I admit it, I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you, I'm not your opponent today. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Kratevskoy, Prince Laharl! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you! I'm Prince Laharl, dude! <laughs> My sincerest gratitude. I thought I'd never reach that thing open. You're the finest customer a man ever had. Lucky! My nose is broke again! I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. Ay, easy, mama. That piece doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. What's the problem? I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a pretty. Idiot, look closer. Don't you see the antenna? <laughs> well, Laharl did have those. See? That proves he's the prince. You would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? Laharl is Krachevskoy's son, is he not? Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? Yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Huh? Oh, uh, anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. Wait, w w what happened to, uh... Ugh, just kill him. Go, pretty, uh, prince. Master Etna, this ain't gonna work, dude. Oh, how in blazes? You're alive! You had me proper scared, poofing away in a flash like that. Who on earth spends their time booby-trapping treasure chests? No way I could have known. But still, I apologize. It's all very unfortunate. At any rate, it's nice just to see you safe. You notice all the bargains here at Patch's Emporium. Is that how you wanted us to solve the puzzle? Yeah. Let's go here. I liked it. See? What did I tell ya? He is the prince. I see. Beautiful mademoiselle. 
Does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. Yeah, dude! Nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience! <laughs> Why should I feel bad about defeating you anyway? That is not what I meant! I need that Lombax found immediately! If he spoils my victory any further, I'll throw you all into the forge and make a nice mug for myself! The Rubion Forge has been destroyed, sir. What? Get that Lombax! Get that Lombax! Get that Lombax! All right, let's find you. Too old, too young, too ugly, too female. Ah, there he is. Hello, Malik. You've been disconnected. Is it just me, or does he look constipated? Right, wouldn't be a briefcase wanker without his briefcase. Oh look, seems someone's locked the door on him. Don't worry, there's no way that's going to... Oh, no, it worked. Oi, what the hell, mate? Well, that's a wrinkle, isn't it? Is he seriously going to try to get away in a car? A car connected to the city-spanning network of automated surveillance devices? That I control. Auto drive now and navy. <laughs> Fuck! Hello again. You know, for all your scheming, you don't exactly think quickly Fuck. under pressure. <laughs> to answer all your letters. This has got to be a scam, dude! Let's check out the first letter. It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Now, let's see. Help me! I'm always being picked on at school. Sounds pretty serious, dude. Are you sure you can handle it? Please, they're little kids. I can massacre like a billion little bullies. Wow, dude! Master Edna, you're willing to help him out? Sure! And I'll do it for the amazingly low price of 500 million health. What? No kid can afford that, dude! All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. But no one has that kind of dough, dude! Well, I'm not running a charity here. So you're not gonna do anything? You're horrible, dude! Fine, he doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a printy, I'll just make him work it off. Don't do it, dude! 20 hour work days are hell! If you really want my help, send me another letter. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay, you keep on talking and I'll toss you out again. Stand up to bullies, dude! <laughs>